Bikers detained in Thaini for blocking vehicular movement to Kerala. The MDMK and other outfits had organized an economic blockade against Kerala's stand on Mulai Periyar. Chief Minister Jailalata requests Manmohan Singh to withdraw his contingency response plan for the Mulai Periyar Dam. Says the Kerala government is attempting to pressurize the Supreme Court's empowered committee to declare the dam unsafe. Vigilance officials raised the properties of former DMK Minister KK SSR Ramachandran in Chennai and Virudhunagar for allegedly holding assets disproportionate to his income. Chief Minister Jayalalitha proposes to bring out a new information technology and ITS policy that will bring Tamil Nadu to number one position. My government proposes to bring out a new information technology and ITES policy that will engender many avant-garde features. Senior graduate teachers request the government to appoint teachers based on seniority instead of holding an exam. To get your pizza in 39 minutes, delivery boys put their lives and those of others on the road too, on the line. Hello and good evening. There is so much happening across the country and internationally. This is Anu George Kanjana Sopal for NDTV Hindu and I will take you through the news in detail for the next 30 minutes. But before all that, the national headlines. The government is likely to table a new Lokpal Bill in Parliament tomorrow and it is likely to be debated in both houses next week. I'm always ready for a fight on the Lokpal Bill, says Congress President Sonia Gandhi. Tells Congress MPs it's a path-breaking bill and Team Anna should accept it. Anna Hazari says the government has betrayed the people, while Kiran Bedi says Congress is isolated on the issue of the CBI. The BJP is upset with the Lokpal draft, wants more autonomy for the CBI, says they will bring amendments in Parliament. Another key reform of the UP government, the pension bill likely to be referred after Mamata Banerjee's Trinamool Congress has serious reservations about it. Twelve people including MDMK leader Vaiko and Tamil nationalist movement leader P. Nadumaran have been detained as they try to block all routes to Kerala over Mulai Periyar Road. MDMK has been organizing a blockade on 13 routes that connect Tamil Nadu and Kerala in protest of Kerala government's demand for decommissioning of the Mulai Periyar Dam. Vaiko was later released in the evening. In the poor Hatatin Mulamaga, Tangalai, Varitikundi, Tangal Care Putting in the Purana and a Tangalai Patikuda, Kavalai Padam, Yabarigal, Kaigari Yabarigal, Palavia Barigal, either Yabar and the Vaitri Kerala at the Kanipi, Timan of Narakaramakal, Avagalum, Indak in the poor Hatatak, Anai to Pagdil, Palve, Amai Pakal, in the poor Hatatile, Yedabatirikindro. Around 1,500 people launched a road blockade protest near Kakachavadi, a place between Coimbatore and Kerala border. The protest was led by prominent MDMK leader Durai against the tension at the border that does not allow vegetables from Tamil Nadu to enter Kerala. The protesters, which comprise mostly of lorry drivers and vegetable vendors, also burned an effigy of Kerala Chief Minister Umman Chandi and attacked four Kerala-owned lorries. The Chief Minister Jay Lalitha has now written for the third time to the Prime Minister in the last two months on the Mulai Periyar Dam Row. Jay Lalitha asked Manmohan Singh to withdraw his plan for a contingency response in the issue. She further said that it's, it's unwarranted when the matter is pending before Supreme Court and the empowered appointed committee. She claimed in her letter that Kerala is attempting to pressurize the empowered committee to declare the dam unsafe. Remember, the Supreme Court has decided that the dam is safe in the year 2006. The court empowered uh, committee is uh, yet to submit its report in the month of February. Visiting the Sabri Mala during the month of December is considered the biggest penance a devotee can take. To walk on the forest range around Pamba in Kerala is a very challenging exercise. But of late, several pilgrims from Tamil Nadu have decided to skip that trek even after a 40-day penance. Reason? The Mulai Periyar issue. After reported attacks on Tamils in Kerala, several pilgrims have chosen not to travel to Sabrimala. It is uh, not very clear if this fear is superficial and unfounded. 
the garments in Kerala and Tamil Nadu may be at loggerheads, but Malayalis and Tamils continue to be united, but for some sporadic violence by French groups. Take a look. With the Kartigai month beginning in the Tamil calendar, the slogan of Ayyappa Saranu <laughs> spreads to every corner of Tamil Nadu. It has been a long-lasting tradition of the devotees to embark on a pilgrimage to Sabrimala and follow strict procedures for 48 days. The pilgrims, who had overcome grave difficulties traveling through the forest, fearless of being attacked by wild animals on their way to the temple, are now fearing for their safety due to the reported attacks after the Mulai Periyar issue. <laughs> Most pilgrims in fear are even resorting to Ayapa temples in the neighborhood to break their fast. Kati Masa Malapoto, Sabarimala Gipora da Irunda, Niki Kudo Nisupakamode, Sengo Dori Gudo Marchit and Sunanga, Anala on the Nang on the Nit Nertikan on the Chenele Murchilanite, in the Yirimudi Gati, Nanga in the Rigratlea, Raja Namal over the Gayapongo Leon, Nertikan Selto under. A priest at the Chennai Adair Ayapa Temple has said that the temple has been visited by more than 500 devotees from various parts of Tamil Nadu per day. The Kerala government has assured safety of pilgrims from Tamil Nadu. The Tamil Nadu government also has stepped up security for Malayali businessmen who were attacked by fringe groups. The two neighbour states have been for long enjoying good relations. The Mulai Periya issue, two people hope, it's just a friction that will soon be ironed out. In Chennai, with Anand Kumar and Anirudh, this is Anu George Kanjanathopal for NDTV Hindu. At a time when innocent people across two states are being dragged into this issue, the ones who suffer the most is everyone. It is best we come together united in peace. Please join us at the NDTV Hindu campaign to help voice that message of peace. Let us be one nation. <laughs> This is uh, my humble message for peace in the NDTV's One Nation campaign. Um, after the recent uh, Mulla Periyar uh, dam issue, um, a lot of Keralites are being attacked in Tamil Nadu and likewise a lot of Tamilians are being attacked in Kerala. And a lot more is happening in the Kerala-Tamil Nadu borders. It, this would just be a, a very, very humble request and appeal to everybody who's watching this to not uh, get involved uh, in any sort of hateful factions because this is only going to hurt us all in the end. Uh, let us leave the matter to the courts, the politicians, the lawyers who are best trained in diplomacy. They know the history of this entire issue. They know the kind of uh, feelings and uh, emotions that are associated with this dam, the people and the livelihood that is associated with this particular uh, issue as a whole. And it's best to not uh, let uh, uh, let us be uh, involving in any sort of abuse, whether it's verbal, uh, emotional, or physical. And even if we do see in our own areas the people who are hurting other people's sentiments, I think it's best that we uh, at least do our bit. If we don't get involved, we can also uh, do our bit in preventing such um, uh, incidents from happening in both our states. Um, as someone who's sung both Malayalam and Tamil film songs, um, my, the, as, as a citizen of India, I wish that this, this issue gets resolved in the manner that's best in the interests of both uh, the people of Tamil Nadu and Kerala, or Kerala or Tamil Nadu, whichever way you want uh, me to say it. Uh, may this nation be one and may we all be united. Jai Hind. Yes, it is the very same one nation which came together when there was a movement to secure freedom. 
The spirit of a country must never be compromised because there's simply no prosthetic for a broken spirit. On that note, let us move on to more news. Tamil Nadu vigilance officials today conducted raids at the residences of the former DMK minister KKSSR Ramachandran here and in Virudhanagar district for allegedly possessing disproportionate assets. Officials of the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption also raided houses of his relatives in these districts. DVAC sources said in the past few months, the DVAC had also conducted raids at the houses of former DMK ministers Veerapandi S. Arumugam K. Ponmudi, K. N. Nehru, M. R. K. Panir Selvam, T. M. Anbarasan, K. P. P. Swami, Durai Murugan, former MLA B. Ranganathan, sitting MLA J. Anbaragan, along with those close to Union Minister M. K. Aragiri in Madurai. In the Kalail Sumar Arre Muni Alavil Tamil Garasin Anja Uliputra in Sarbaghe Tirichi DSP Ambia of the Tamil Uru Kuluva on the Guru Nagar Arupokoti in the Kra in Nuria Vidu Matum Tulil Savanagalai in the Ki I will say the Wundra here. ஆயு செய்வர்கள் கணக்கு வழக்கு சொத்துக்களை பார்க்காமல் வீட்டிலே இருக்கிற சேலை விநிமணில் இருந்து எல்லாவற்றையும் பார்த்து காலையில் இருந்து அதை தொந்தரவு செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் நான் மூன்று தலைமுறையாக தொழில் செய்கிறவன் இப்போ இருக்கிற முதலமைச்சர்க்கே தெரியும் என்னுடைய ஆஸ்தி எல்லாம் அவர்க்கே தெரியும் வேண்டும் என்றே பழிவாங்க அரசியல் பழிவாங்கும் நடவடிக்கையாக in the Pani Sigargil, Adiari Lane Angle Kovic of Mudia Villa, Arasaka Martivik, Ravadi, Adagar, Adiari Lagar Kragil, Nanga Election Nalam Kaka, Adatale, Adiari Lane, our Poka K, I say the Wundra Kragil, Nanga Lay Satopodi, Kalanjar Talamele, Ide Nangal Sandipo, in the Arasil, Palumangam, Nanavarika, Nangal Karagro. And to think that we thought that only students don't like examinations. The Tamil Nadu Senior Graduate Teachers Association have requested the government to withdraw the decision of introducing recruitment board exams and instead appoint teachers based on seniority basis. They also announced a one-day token fast on the 28th of January in Chennai. <laughs> Sadi Varan and Ida Vikade is the Yella Me Nur Salvia Pine Puranga and the Padimu Padipril. Anal, the Thermal Patina, the Yella Me Mutilma Kurit on the Puriki Padigra. Padimu Padipril, old letter Velipadianagore, Asiri Matan and Kekro. Up in the Arsa Savis I have a tal, Yuva Tiatan, the Chani Lever Marber, Una the Pratan Sigra, Azakundi, Anatika Telegram, other Kuranga. Azako Arsa Savis I give an Anadim or take Kandi Bakan and Nadu. Chief Minister J.J. Lalita said that the state is all set to become the country's IT capital with the development of an IT and information service sector. Observing that 25% of engineers in India are from Tamil Nadu, she promised the introduction of a unique IT policy in the state. As Tamil Nadu holds the third position in FDI, she claimed that Tamil Nadu is definitely an investor-friendly state. Commenting on Tamil Nadu's potential to become a global city, she voiced her dream of making Tamil Nadu an all-round developed state. To achieve this dream, my government proposes to bring out a new information technology and ITES policy that will engender many avant-garde features. This will catapult Tamil Nadu to the numero uno position. My government is committed to providing an investor-friendly industrial policy framework to provide a healthy and productive environment. I invite investors to Tamil Nadu, the land of great opportunity, endowed with immense potential, and reiterate the commitment of my government to establishing a strong and vibrant Tamil Nadu as a new growth model in India. You order for a pizza and expect it to be delivered in 30 minutes, but little do you know what happens in the meantime. Stay tuned to find out.